Let's compare the two types of rotors in three-phase induction motors. First, the wound or slip ring rotor induction motor has a rotor with a three-phase winding similar to the stator. In contrast, the squirrel cage rotor induction motor consists of bars shorted at the ends with end rings. Second, external resistance can be added to the wound rotor, allowing for speed control. However, this isn't possible with the squirrel cage rotor, where speed control is achieved from the stator side. Third, the wound rotor features slip rings and brushes, making its construction more complicated and costly. Conversely, the squirrel cage rotor has a robust construction without slip rings and brushes, making it cheaper and more reliable. Next, consider maintenance. Wound rotors have higher maintenance costs, whereas squirrel cage rotors require less maintenance. Efficiency and power factor also differ. Wound rotors have lower efficiency and power factor compared to squirrel cage rotors, which are more efficient and have a higher power factor. When it comes to starting torque, wound rotors provide a high starting torque, suitable for heavy-duty applications like lifts, cranes, and elevators. On the other hand, squirrel cage rotors offer moderate starting torque, ideal for lighter applications like fans, lathes, and grinders. In summary, wound or slip ring rotor induction motors are more complex and versatile but come with higher costs and maintenance, while squirrel cage rotor induction motors are simpler, more efficient, and cost-effective for less demanding tasks.